Welcome to the American Dream Selling Sacramento. I'm your host, Nick Street, and on this episode, well, you're gonna hear from local experts who are gonna talk to you about the real estate, lifestyle, and culture that make our city so great. Enjoy this episode, Selling Sacramento. I'm Kayeli Sanchez, the host of your American Dream TV show in one of the most beautiful places in the world, Olympic Valley. I'm here with Patrick Lacey with Palisades Tahoe. Patrick, tell us a little bit about the history of Olympic Valley formerly known as Squaw Valley, that's what I grew up with, but tell us a little bit about everything that's going on right now. We're obviously on something really new and exciting, so give us a scoop. Of course, yeah, I mean, we were the host of the 1960 Olympics. We do have our World Cup coming up, actually, uh, so here. We haven't hosted it since 2017 uh, on Red Dog, Michaela Schifrin, so it was one of the hardest courses that she's ever ridden. Uh, and, you know, there's so much that's happening. We're on the base-to-base -base gondola right now that connects us from Palisade side to the Alpine side. So obviously we couldn't be more stoked right now. And once again, like there is just so much that's happening over here. We couldn't be more thrilled to share our mountains uh, with everybody. Yes, Olympic Valley has always been a special place in my heart. And I grew up skiing on this hill, had family here. They slapped on two little plastic skis when I was maybe two and like zoom straight down the mountain, um, which I'm sure a lot of kids do that as well. I just always have had a special place, like I said, in my heart for here. But now on this ride from base to base, I didn't think I could be wowed anymore until I got into this gondola and it feels like pure magic. And then during the summertime, obviously this area is just as gorgeous and magical. So what's happening this summer that we wanna make sure we put on our bucket list? Yeah, so I mean, the saying goes, you come for the winters and you stay for the summers. There's something for everyone here. And that's the one thing that I really recognize about this place and love is that no matter what your heart desires during the summer and the winter, it is here for you. Just like you said, get out there, hike, see wildflowers, be at the top of the mountain. If you want to ride the gondola to the top and just like have lunch out there, jump in the swimming pool or during the winter, some ice skating, obviously alpine skiing, cross country skiing. I mean, you pretty much have like the world at your fingertips here. We, we got it all. And yeah. with the lake being right there too, I mean, beaching, boating, kayaking, paddle boarding. Yeah. I mean, this is just an absolute fabulous area. So you can just stay the whole day and play, eat great food, hang out in the sun. It's so family friendly as well. So many things for everybody to do. And not just Shopping. family friendly too. It's yeah. even dog friendly as yes. well. True, because dogs are part of our family. Oh, <laughs> It is my pleasure to welcome you to Bell Haven. This is one of the most iconic homes here on North Lake Tahoe. Of course, because it has almost three acres of pristine land, exactly where you want it, gorgeous lake. It has its own pier, a boat lift, a pool and pool house, plus this gorgeous home, five bedrooms, five and a half bath, all for you. Plus, when your guests want to come, of course, they have their own guest house. This home was built for entertaining. Thank you for joining me on this episode of American Dream TV, North Lake Tahoe. My name is Kaylee Sanchez, and I look forward to seeing you next time.
Tahoe City is where you want to live if you're passionate about the outdoors and want to live a fulfilled life. Every neighborhood in this community backs the National Forest Land or the lake, providing amazing opportunities to get outside and enjoy this magical wonderland. I'm Dave Westall, host of The American Dream, and today we'll meet with Brendan Madigan to tour his renowned sports shop and learn about the Winter Speaker Series, which has raised over a million dollars for local nonprofits. Then we'll meet with Scott Gillespie, architect with Sandbox Studios, to tour a new construction lakefront home on the North Shore of Lake Tahoe. Open Glow Sports is an original California mountain shop providing locals and visitors with inspiration, local knowledge, and the best gear to enjoy the great outdoors. Let's go inside and meet with Brendan Madigan, owner of Alpen Glow Sports, to tour his shop and to learn about the Winter Speaker Series. Brendan, thank you for having us in your shop today. Just want to learn a little bit about, you know, how you ended up in Lake Tahoe and uh, how you became owner of such an amazing shop. Well, I'm like a lot of uh, people here. I'm a transplant from the East Coast. Moved here after college in 2004. Started working here part time as a as a ski bum, really, yeah. um, for a gear discount and a little bit of income. And gradually evolved here into management and eventually bought it in. 2011. It's always been about the people, right? From the founders back in the 70s to us now. And, you know, specifically what makes us different is how we uh, treat people. You know, we want to connect with people on a human level first and everything else is secondary to that. Yeah, and you know, I mean, you see it in your business. People come to Tahoe um, for a taste of the life that we get to live every day. And yeah. to share that with them is is uh, validating and, and fun. You run uh, and founded a winter speaker series. So I really want to learn a little bit about, you know, how that came to be and what that's all about and what it does for our community. Yeah, the speaker series is definitely a labor of love. Um, it's 17 years old now and it's been responsible for not only bringing the biggest names in our sports to Tahoe, Lynn Hill, Hillary Nelson, Glenn Plague, and they give a free show, and there's an awesome philanthropic part to it. Well, thank you for Thanks, uh, meeting with me today. Of course, I greatly thank you. appreciate it, and really love what you're doing, and just Alp and Glow Sports. It's an amazing institution. Thank you. Sandbox Studios is the premier architectural firm in Lake Tahoe that has been designing cutting edge modern mountain homes for over 20 years. Today we'll meet with Scott Gillespie, the architect who designed this new construction, modern mountain home on the shores of Lake Tahoe. Scott, thanks for being here with us today. We're super excited to learn about Sandbox Studios and uh, your cutting edge modern mountain designs. And we're here to learn a little bit about what you do. So tell us about Sandbox. We are coming up on our uh, 22nd anniversary, which is hard to believe. So we're founded in March of 01. We design all over the Mountain West. We've done projects, uh, obviously California, Nevada, Montana, a lot in Utah. You guys are doing great work. You know, maybe tell us a little bit about the house that we're in today. Sure. Uh, well, the clients who you, you had a chance to meet, uh, Sabrina, um, fantastic to work with. This, as you know, by Tahoe Lakefront standards, the lots are not always uh, all that wide. This one with the steep topography and the narrow width really posed some challenges. But with that view out there, um, that was really the focal point. And so it was a combination of how can we best capture that. Five bedrooms, a workout room, a rec room, um, great outdoor living, covered and uncovered, and um, tried to catch that lake view from really every room in the house. Well, thank you so much for having us here today. My pleasure. I appreciate Always it greatly. Sacramento, California.
California at Hughes Stadium with the Guns and Hoses charity football game presented by Pitbull. You're going to want to stick around because these stands are going to be full of thousands of fans in just a few minutes. Not only are we famous for the Sacramento Kings, the River Cats, or the Sac Republic, we're famous for this 49th annual huge charity football event. And we're going to interview the sheriff, Jim Cooper. We're going to talk to the charities and we're going to see the bite dogs go after somebody. You're not going to want to miss it. Joe, how do you feel coming back from last year's devastating loss? Devastating. Four points ain't devastating. Four points is an embarrassment. Today, you guys are gonna get what you got coming all year long. We've been waiting to get out of here. We're gonna give it to you all today. You guys believe that. Hogs, baby! It's good to be a hog. Sheriff Jim Cooper on the 15 yard line at the 49th annual Guns and Hoses. Thanks so much for having thank, us. Thank you for having us. Yes. This is the 49th year and the money goes to charities. We've donated $1.7 million to date in 49 years, which is amazing. A lot of children's charities. Uh, that's really what it's all about, but we want to come out here and play football and hopefully beat those firefighters. Absolutely. Also, um, how do you honor the fallen families and the officers at the game? Yeah, and that's a great point. Um, just to recognize their loss, obviously the fire captain in Soxon that was killed, uh, the officer from El Earl PD that was killed last year. They really honor their memories and dedicate the game to them and their families. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Have a great day. Okay, today we're here with Joe. He's the executive director of the Fire Firefighters, Firefighters Burn Institute. Burn Institute. Yep. And today we're really excited to talk to him. I think the biggest thing that we have done is as an organization, again, uh, Cliff's uh, initial vision was to get a burn unit in Sacramento. And it has moved and progressed so much further than that because we have the burn unit at UC Davis and we've provided over $2 million to establish a first class burn unit at UC Davis. Shriners that was in San Francisco decided to relocate into Sacramento and do a partnership with UC Davis. Okay, Joe, so tell me a little bit about Boots. What do we have going on with Boots? So Boots is an emotional support dog for our burn survivors. He will connect with um, kids at Shriners, uh, people at UC Davis, any burn survivor that needs that emotional support. He is a community <laughs> dog. He goes so out good. to the community to show emotional support when He's he so isn't good. watching a football He's game. He's so good. Well, I really appreciate you meeting with us today. Thank, Thank you. you so very Thank much. Thank you for your time. Um, we'd love to help you. If you ever need anything, we appreciate you. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. event is put on by volunteers, the cops and the firefighters. It's a community event made up by volunteers and we appreciate them protecting our neighborhoods and communities all at the same time. This event would not be possible with the volunteers, their families, and all the attendants that put in their money and time to cheer on all the players. Congratulations, dogs, on your victory. We want to say thank you to the Sheriff's Department and the fire for including us in the back behind the scenes view. We just want to tell you thank you for tuning in and we'll see you next time on Selling Sacramento. Today we are at Folsom, California at this gorgeous Mexican restaurant and bakery. We are here to interview the owner and founder of Brisa & Co. Let's go take a look and see what this place has to offer. Come on in. So we are here with owner and founder Brisa of Brisa & Co. and one of my longest standing friends. 
So tell me a little bit about your restaurant. Why did you choose to open up a bakery? Well, I decided to open up a bakery because I grew up in the restaurant business my entire life and I was able to uh, touch into one of my passions, which was baking. And I felt that um, Mexican restaurants uh, don't showcase that. And I really wanted to uh, be able to present all the sweet breads and all the beautiful things that we have to offer um, on that side of Mexico. We got really popular because we took a classic Mexican bun that I grew up eating when I was little. And I thought, hey, let's do something fun. Let's modernize it, let's stuff them. So we do all kinds of flavors from Nutella, mango, pineapple, strawberry. The stuffings are endless and they're so fun. So let me show you what the Pandos experience at Recinco is like, follow me. So the Pantos experience at Brice & Co. is really special. I felt that it was so essential for us to be able to show our bread being made while having breakfast, something traditional, something I grew up eating, a chilaquiles is our number one brunch plate. So that's what's really fun about coming is that you're able to enjoy brunch and seeing your bread being freshly made in front of you. I think that is like one of the most important things um, that I stand for to see that everything is handmade, it's homemade, and that it's something that you really can enjoy. Risa, thank you so much for sharing this magical bakery with us. Now let's head over to another part of Folsom and check out a real magic show. Welcome to Mystique Dining, a fine dining, world-class entertainment experience you're not going to want to miss. We are here with Steve, the entertainment director of Mystique Dining, and he's gonna answer a couple questions sure. about this joint. Yes. How did this all get started? Well, uh, Terry Commons is the guy who created this whole thing, and uh, he has four loves, Disney, uh, magic, theater, and food. And he's taken all four of those, rolled them up, and this is what you got right here. There's nothing else like Mystique Dining in, I think, in Sacramento area. We have world-class magicians, but in the magic community, these are the top of the tops. These are the guys that come, they come from all over New York, LA, Las Vegas, Chicago. Uh, we have a guy who comes from Spain every year just to do incredible card magic here. So uh, there's nothing else like it. I love it. So are you gonna show us some of this yeah, world-class sure. Twi magic? Twist my arm, twist my arm, yeah, of course. <laughs> We have three ropes. What do they have in common? What's similar about all three ropes? They have the same color and texture. They're white, they're made of cotton. Very good. Are they all the same size? No. They all have these little, what? They're not all the same size. <sighs> See, if I just go like this, it makes it look like it's, uh, like they're all the same size. There's one, there's two, there's three. Here's the uh, <laughs> short rope that you had. Here's the short one. Here's the uh, <laughs> medium <laughs> one that you had. And, uh, I feel like I need to look more thoroughly. Yeah, Steve. yeah. All right, you know what? I'll make it fair. I know what's the problem. You have, okay. you have two eyes, I have three ropes. Okay. So I'm going to remove one rope. Okay, okay. Two ropes, two eyes, everything's even. But it's still not fair. To be fair, we should just use one piece of rope. No, no, no. No matter how much you try, you can pull and pull and pull on the ends of the rope. The ends will never come off, Carmen. Oh, well, that wasn't supposed to happen. See, now I got a rope that has no ends, it's, it's all middles. All right, just say stop whenever you want. Stop. So, oh, oh, I'm sorry, right there? Okay. Look, I'll put the ends right where you said stop. And this is my favorite part of this routine. Okay. These are the ends, this is the middle. One, two, three. What? Back on there. I don't know. I just don't understand how this is happening right well, now. But in the beginning, they were different sizes, They were right? different sizes. Okay, so if we just bring it up like this, snap. There's the short one. There's the medium one. And that's the long one, and that's the rope. How is this possible? Well, this is an awesome uh, experience. I only got a little taste yeah, of it. Yeah, just a small taste. Speaking yeah. of taste, I hear you guys have some amazing food. We do. Are you going to show us that? Well, let's do it. Let's do it. We have gotten a taste of two of Folsom's fine dining experiences. If you want your home or business featured on our next episode, reach out. We'd love to help. I'm your host, Carmen Gargani of American Dream TV, Northern California. Bon appetit. Today, we're in Midtown Sacramento. It is an area that's growing vast amount of culture, lots of nightlife, tons of activities. My name is Belinda Mills. I'm your host of the American Dream.
selling Sacramento? Come on, let's go check it out. Now we're here with Chris at Localis, and this is a brand new Michelin star rated restaurant. Chris, how did you get this restaurant started? Uh, 2015, we started Localis as a combination between some people, and then a year later realized that I wanted to take it in the direction that I thought of originally. Um, so then took over and spent a lot of years working a lot of hours, and now we're here. So what? made you become a chef in the first place? Uh, travel. I was okay. traveling as a musician, um, eating foods from kind of all over the world and really just fell in love with the idea of food and um, wanted out of my previous career uh, being an electrician and decided that I wanted to try cooking and that was kind of it. We have a 12 course tasting menu. Um, five of those dishes switch out less frequently. Um, they're kind of standardized items like our caviar at the beginning. Um, and then our octopus, which always has different flavor profiles, but always the octopus stays on the menu. Uh, the painter's palette, which is really fun. Uh, we always do some sort of Thai raw fish preparation, and then a dessert. So we kind of like, those ones change out less frequently, but every month all seven of the main courses are being changed out. So the liquid nitrogen will bring the aromas of the green curry that we make here out of the bowl and into your nose. Uh, this is Aura King salmon that's been cured with green curry and then wrapped with fresh fish sauce noodles, wakame seaweed, from Mendocino and watermelon radish. Uh, you also have on the bottom some fried cashews as well as our green curry sauce. Uh, cured trout roe and then finished off with some Trinity Herb Rice Crisp that'll give it some good texture. Uh, the outside of the roll is a piece of radish that can be unraveled and then it falls into two pieces so that it's a little easier to eat. Okay, got it, awesome. We're here with Sammy, and she's going to be showing us around this brand new community that's been just built in Midtown. How are you doing today, Tammy? I am wonderful. I am so excited to have you guys here today. It's not raining, it's just a beautiful day. So tell me about some of the features in these properties. We are a brand new development called Albright Village. We started out here probably late 2021 and then we have had our first people families moving in in October so we're nice. freshly built we are a very quaint community and only 14 homes they're just beautiful and fun as you can tell I can't stop smiling these homes all have quartz countertops right um, we talked earlier about the mini splits that you have up here so we have one in the kitchen area one in the living room area over here nice. it's really for energy efficient so nice when you can be warm and cozy while somebody's having to cool down while making you dinner yeah yeah in addition to that while they're cooking we have these induction stoves they're all electric downtown it's a new sacramento county law as you know so all, we're all electric you have baseboards you have window seals you've got beautiful nine foot ceilings and a company standard is this eight foot door here you see on this beautifully large pantry right in front of us yeah yeah tammy thank you so much for showing us around today we really appreciate your time and showing us these amazing properties. Belinda, you are so welcome. This was so much fun. As you can see, I cannot stop smiling. And these homes are truly fantastic, but I only have 14 of them and they're about half sold out. So please, yeah. if you love them, give me a call. Yeah, we will, thanks. Oh. Thank you for joining me today on The American Dream. I'm so excited that we got to share some of the real estate and local restaurants in the area and I can't wait to meet with you again soon. Today, I'm bringing you to my hometown of Elk Grove, just outside of Sacramento, known as the capital of California. What a lot of people don't know about Elk Grove is how many athletes have blossomed throughout the years in this small city. 15 of those being Elk Grove Thundering Herd alumni have made it to the major leagues. One of those being my good friend, David Hernandez. David and his family have recently opened and established a facility that have taken athletes to the next level. All of them to reach their goal and to reach their max potential. Let's check it out. This is American Dream TV. I'm Jenna Deacon. Let's go see.
David, tell me a little bit about your background, you being a local, and uh, where you come from. Well, I was born in West Sacramento. Uh, spent most of my life here in Elk Grove. Uh, went to Elk Grove High School, um, where they produced many players before me, many players after me, and I'm just trying to give back to the community that's so rich in baseball. No, oh, I love it. I love it. So, how are you? trying to um, set your facility aside than, I mean, other facilities. You're an athlete and you've been around and you've seen a lot and w how are you trying to be different? Uh, well, along with my brother and I, we've, we've been very fortunate enough to play the game at the highest levels. And, uh, being able to give a little bit of that knowledge back to the youth and, and being able to provide them with a place to go train, a place to meet other kids, a place to make friends. Um, and, and they all share a common goal and that's to get better and to, to get to the next level, whether that's their age 12 season or professional. Um, uh, we're here for them and we we just providing a place for them to come and, and, and work. We, uh, whether you're a beginner, first time player, or you have, you know, the experience of a professional athlete, uh, we want it to be a place that welcomes all, baseball, softball. Um, in the near future, we're gonna be adding turf sports, whether it be football, basketball. We anticipate having basketball courts here mm -hmm. on the outside. And uh, we want it to be a, kind of a one-stop shop. You know, you get your sports skill it. training, and then you come in, you hit the weight room, and then you, then you go up about your day. Cool, well, I'd love for you to give us a tour. Can we check it out? Sure, absolutely. Perfect. with Ray Hernandez, one of the owners of the facility. And not only does he have an extensive background in playing professional baseball, he was also the manager in player development for the Houston Astros. Ray's gonna show us around and give us an extensive tour on what this facility has to offer. Hi, Ray. Let's do it. <laughs> hey. As you can see, we have uh, six cages here. Uh, mo most of the time we keep two retractable just so you can have throwing going on. Cool thing about this facility is we have a lot of data analyzation tools. We have a track man in the back tracking exit velos, launch angles, uh, just de basic tools for our coaches to use to kind of guide our, our development for our players. Thanks for joining us. Until next time, this is American Dream TV. Thanks for watching this episode of the American Dream Selling Sacramento. I'm your host, Nick Street, and I hope you've enjoyed this segment of all of the cool things that Sacramento has to offer, real estate, culture, and lifestyle. Don't forget to follow us on social media, and cheers to your American Dream.